this is my moringa tree you see how it's got the very long stem here I have it inside because we've got you know cold weather going on but my brother brought it to me and it was about this high real skinny little thing and it grew all the way up like this I've harvested some of the leaves on it already but this is about what I have left and I'm gonna go ahead and trim off some of these leaves now little did I know this is the first moringa tree that I have ever grown um, I didn't know that you were supposed to kind of you know keep it trimmed down like you can cut it here and it'll start sprouting out this way but this tree is so forgiving that um, you can cut cut it all off and it'll come back now I don't know about you know leaving it outside in the freezing cold if it, if it gets below freezing I don't think it would grow back and you know that's why I have it inside here but uh, anyway I'll go ahead and trim some of these leaves off hey friends it's Sammy here welcome back to Blue Feather Homestead um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the moringa tree I don't know if it's called moringa or moringa um, but anyway it is a miracle tree um, a couple of years ago I ran across a homesteading channel that um, was talking about the moringa tree and it's also called the tree of life and they had arthritis um, but they you know and they had taken all kinds of uh, medications from the doctor's office they tried all kinds of natural remedies to fix this arthritis that they had well I don't know where they heard about moringa from um, but they started taking moringa and it cured their arthritis um, the doctors are just amazed by it this was a couple of years ago and I thought hmm that's interesting they were talking about all the benefits of this moringa tree anyway so I decided to go ahead and order some I ordered some capsules and I started taking it and um, noticed a big difference it kind of like it just like improved my overall well-being really I don't know if you've seen my past videos I probably look a little bit pale washed out um, I have always been anemic ever since I can remember I've always had a little bit of anemia um, this plant helps um, absorb iron it supposedly has more iron than a big red fat juicy steak <laughs> not fat but a red juicy steak um, but it helps absorb the iron in your blood I've always taken um, supplements for that to treat that but I've recently kind of stopped because I started taking this moringa it's supposed to be good for your hair growth I know that hair is hereditary a lot of it you know if you if your parents have thinning hair or whatever you're probably gonna have thinning hair I've always kind of had thin hair um, but I'm sure that a lot of that is due to being anemic so it's supposed to help your hair growth hair shine it has tons of vitamins in it this is part of it that I have cut off the tree I brought the tree inside um, as I stated before this is the first time I've ever grown a moringa tree um, you know I've been taking that supplement for a couple of years now and my brother brought over that little bitty sprout okay it was like about this big I put it out put it outside on the deck and it loved the sunshine I watered it once a day which um, the more research that I've done it says that you don't really necessarily have to water them every day that they they're okay with that uh, but I brought it inside and their leaves are turning a little bit yellow now but the whole thing is edible like I said um, I am in Oklahoma and the weather's starting to cool down the sun's going down earlier um, so it's not getting a whole bunch of sun so I have it by my window these have started turning a little bit yellow and from what I understand you're not really supposed to use the use them um, when they're yellow but you can put these leaves in smoothies you can put them in scrambled eggs you can put them you can have a tea make a tea I don't know if you saw my goldenrod video on how to make tea but it's basically the same concept you just use the leaves um, you know you just tear them right off you can use them dry or fresh in your tea um, I put I use fresh you know in omelets and things like that these trees grow drumsticks is what they're called and they're pods you know like this long pods I think they grow about that big anyway the pods are where the seeds are you can actually eat the seeds that are in the pods but the pods are where the seeds are that you can replant your uh, moringa tree I'm not real sure where my brother got the sprout if he grew it from a seed or what I didn't even ask and I need to ask him that I think I'm going to take one of these and see if I can get it to root because 
apparently they grow roots pretty easy um, they're very forgiving I'm gonna cut that plant down to the trunk and it will start sprouting I'm hoping that they will you know it'll sprout inside I believe it'll produce enough leaves just being inside um, just for the family but I plan on growing a whole bunch more you know for next season because I want to have all of those leaves I want to make my own powder this is all organic if you are unable to grow a uh, moringa tree or unable to get seeds or whatever um, I ordered this off of Amazon this is just moringa capsules and it says just to take one daily and so that's kind of what I've been doing I might skip a day here or there but this stuff is really awesome make sure it's organic you know non-gmo but this is moringa 5000 mg is what i've been taking and it says once a day um, there are a couple of warnings if you take blood pressure medication and you take this uh, you might be careful because this lowers your blood pressure also another thing is for diabetes this will also control your blood sugar it lowers your blood sugar so you just have to watch your numbers and make sure but these capsules are amazing okay they don't have any weird reaction to other medications that you're taking over-the-counter or prescription medications um, you know always check with your doctor I'm not a doctor this is just from my experience what you know with me taking the moringa so always consult your doctor first um, I'm just giving you my opinion on the moringa tree these trees can grow up to 20 feet in the air what I've noticed is that the trunk will go all the way up and then there'll be leaves up at the top of the tree and so you would some I guess you would probably have to climb a ladder to go up there and trim your leaves and things like that um, and your drumsticks that are growing off so what I understand is it's best to prune them down you know just like a fruit tree just prune them and then they become more productive and they'll grow out like this and it'll be easier for you to get your leaves off and your drumsticks and things like that okay so I am going to um, go ahead and cut the the trunk of that tree and go from there so I think I'm gonna cut it about right here I might have to put my camera down to do this there we go a lot of leaves falling off okay so this is cut down and this little tree right here the trunk this should start growing some sprouts out the sides we'll wait and see what happens so I cut this part off and supposedly I could just stick that right into the dirt and it would grow roots and you know be just fine this is such a forgiving tree it wants to grow if you're not able to grow moringa trees I hope that you will order some moringa powder if you can they they do come in powders there's capsules there's powders and things like that they probably have tea bags with moringa that you can just order um, off of Amazon or get at your health food store or you know whatever but anyway I hope that you give it a try it has really improved my health like I said um, this channel said that it cured uh, their arthritis I've seen people get off of thyroid medications because of this moringa I've seen people the, the testimonies that I've watched anyway um, go ahead and do your research and decide for yourself if moringa is for you I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day bye bye I decided to go ahead and put this in some water to see if it might grow some roots um, I'm gonna trim these off actually here for um, our omelets tonight because we're going to have breakfast for dinner but I just wanted to show you that isn't that pretty in the window there anyway we'll see if it grows some roots and then I can plant it in some soil for next season this totally might not work <laughs> but you know why not try it